It says there are orchestras in heaven just like in the world. Huh. Huh. There are all kinds of instruments, genres of music, choruses, solo music, and holiday performances. Oh, like Dingle Festive, Bells. yeah. Music plays a core role in the life of angels. For one such example, it says, touch the play button on the monitor hmm. to watch a video about a tradition in one community in heaven of a choir of women and girls waking people in the morning. It sounds cool. Did you see the monitor? Yeah, I'm it's not... right over here. Oh, oh, allow me. Every morning from the houses around the public squares, you hear girls and young women singing songs of great sweetness. The sound fills the entire city. Each morning, the song embodies one particular feeling related to spiritual love. That is, the way the voices sound and the mode the song is in convey a given feeling so well that we experience the song as that feeling itself. The song flows into our souls as we listen and stirs in us the feeling it corresponds to. This is the nature of songs in heaven. The singers tell us that as those listening become more receptive, the sound of the song becomes more inspired, inwardly alive and beautiful. What a wake-up call. Mm. Not just that you get some beautiful song in the morning, but it's sort of like this communal emotional tone set for the day, mm. and it's like a different one every day. Here's your theme for the day. Yeah, it, here's some kind of like feeling to start wistful day. admiration. I don't know what kind of feelings they're talking about, but it seems like that would be an awesome way to make each day a sort of a different shade oh, of life. man. That would make it heaven, I think. Yeah. And apparently, it says here that music even spreads wider than that, in a sense. Oh, wow. It says music in heaven even is able to coincide across different communities in heaven, and even with musical events in this physical world. Oh, crossover. And then it quotes from Spiritual Experiences 491. Once again, I heard hymnists, or those singing the praise of our Savior. In fact, a number of choirs were heard singing at the same time about a variety of subjects by means of visual displays and mental imagery. And yet they are one chorus consisting of very many and acting at the same time as one without any confusion from each other so that one was in the other or inside of the other, even outside of the other. In this way, the whole angelic heaven customarily devotes itself to the praise and glory of the Savior. This is why musical harmony and singing is so delicious to the heavenly ones when the thoughts of a person on earth are concordant with their ideas. I have often experienced in churches, I think Sweden was talking about here in the physical world, that the heavenly choirs have joined in with a very deep sense of gladness, unbelievable and thus unutterable to anyone. It's amazing to think that, that even angels would need an event in this world to kind of catalyze what they're doing. Yeah. You sort of think, of heaven's got it all going on, we're like nobody down here, but that they actually are hyped up that we're singing songs. Ah. And sometimes we're in a certain mode, or even when we're doing music, yeah. they can be singing, and they're sing, singing along with yeah. it. And that, maybe that that's why very, very some cool. people can really like a kind of music that other people don't, because those people get the angels' enthusiasm mm. about it, or something like that. Mm. That's cool. Mm. 